Hi there learners and welcome to today's video where we are going to be talking about ways of collecting data. So we've dealt with the different types of data, we've dealt with why we actually collect data. So now we're looking at some of the ways in which we actually go about and collect data. Now, like I'm saying to you, there are various ways that you can go about it and it's possible to observe, question or measure any of the quantities involved. Now, when dealing with statistics, the term population is used. That's why I've put it here as a heading. This is not referring to how many people there are in a country, but rather means the complete group that the data is collected from. So if you're collecting from 25 people, you're collecting from that population. Okay. For example, here's another one. If you wanted to know what the favorite color amongst your grade is, then your grade is known as the population. Okay, so I hope that's clear. Now, one of the ways is through a census. Now, a census is when the data required is collected from all the people concerned. For example, the entire population. If a country wants to gain information from their citizens, then they would need to conduct a census. And so you would have people called enumerators who would be employed to go to all the households, and we've had this in our country before, all the households and collect the relevant information. Here was one, I think, in 2011. This information is then used to plan the future of the country. Another way is through a survey. Let's say, for example, you don't need to get the info of the entire population, you know, just a certain group from the population. Then you could use a survey. Now, a selection of people from the population would be chosen, that would be called your sample, and they would then complete the relevant survey. However, bear in mind that when it comes to conducting your survey, you can do this by two means, using a uh, simple random sampling or a representative sample. So let's see what's the difference between the two. Your random sample, this, is, this survey is one where every person in the entire population has an equal chance of being selected for the sample. It must be random, otherwise it may be biased. So it's, you know, just by random you'll choose, let's say, 10 people from there, and it's not based on any, you know, nationality, religion, creed, anything like that, nothing. It's just completely random. However, your representative sample is different. This is a survey that is made up in a similar way to the entire population. Okay, so if we know what our population, you know, dynamics are um, for the entire country, well, then we can create a sample based on those same statistics. Uh, the proportion of members in the sample is similar to that of the entire population. So let's say there's 20% of this particular group and 15% of that and 40% of the other, then your representative sample will be representative of that. Okay, here's some tips for uh, good survey questions. If you have to conduct surveys, you want to be neutral, you want to keep it simple. Don't ask just because you can. You want to skip hypothetical questions. You want to find out how, right? How did you find the services at the gym? And ask one question at a time. You don't want to confuse the customer. Okay. Then the last one. Another way of being unbiased is to make sure that all the data is collected in the same way from each member of the sample. And for this reason, you would use a questionnaire and that can be either in written or digital format. So, you know, when you send someone um, a... Google form, um, you can actually get them to fill in that questionnaire and you know everybody's going to complete it in the same manner. Okay, so when it comes to questionnaires, you also want to look at a few guidelines, things like choosing uh, your question type or types. You want to include a deadline, develop the questions thoughtfully, right? you want to be clear and concise in them, and you want to restrict the length of your questionnaire. There's nothing worse than someone asking you to fill out a questionnaire that's got like three, four pages of questions. Nobody wants to do that. All right. So these are the different ways, great, 10s and 11s, of how we then collect the data. So we've dealt with what the data is, why we're collecting it, and now we've looked at the different uh, ways of actually getting that data to us.